Hope you enjoy this clip, and if you do, please like and subscribe. Awesome, so now I want to dive into the resume you had when you applied to Jane Street. So first thing I'll ask you is what internships did you do prior to applying? I think, in, as opposed to like a lot of other people who applied, who a lot of the other Jane Street interns I know, some of them had like prior experience in a different, uh, in a different firm. Uh -huh. Some of them were like, you know, sort of like your classic, you know, I did a, you know, I did a sweet internship at Meta, I did a sweet internship at Amazon. Mm -hmm. I actually did not have any of those. I had one internship uh, the year prior, mm -hmm. which was a DevOps internship at uh, Vector Robotics, which is a, a small Boston robotics firm. I don't think that directly impacted me in terms of um, sort of being a becoming a quantitative research intern. Uh -huh. um, but I think certainly it was, you know, it was good experience to have. And I think certainly if you're gonna, I think, Having any internship in terms of in a technical field is very useful. And did you have any awards that stood out on your resume as well? Yeah, so I think this might be one of the key reasons I actually got into the internship. Mm -hmm. I was a three-time USMA qualifier. Awesome. Um, as a Canadian, I also did like the Canadian Math Olympiad. Yeah. I, I also was a USACO uh, Platinum Division uh, by the time I graduated. Wow. Um, well, thank you. <laughs> uh, but certainly, I think this is uh, this might be a big standout if you want to get in the world of quant. Right. I think I look back into like who my fellow researchers were. Mm -hmm. One of them, one of them had to take like one week off of um, of the internship of the internship to go coach IMO. Oh wow! Yeah, for the US. No, uh, no, sorry, it wasn't coach IMO. It was uh, I think it was like an IMO judge. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because wow. um, he was, uh, I think he was a gold medalist at one point. I think it's a. I think it would be a big deal seeing that kind of stuff on the resume. Again, I don't pretend to know what Jane Street and other firms look for, yeah. but you know, just extrapolating from the people I know and people who got it, I see. You know, what it, it's no, it's sort of. There's some sort of positive you know, correlation there for sure. So now let's dive into the interview process in general. And first thing I'll ask you to do is just kind of describe the interview process you went to at a high level. The way Jane Street interviews and in sort of a lot of different firms interview. Mm -hmm. uh, so I guess it's not like much different is sort of you will do, usually <coughs> you'll apply online and you'll probably have like one or two screening interviews where they'll ask you sort of a slew of questions, whether that's like math, probability, you know, texture problem solving skills, a little bit of computer science, depending again, depending on how technical your position might be. Mm -hmm. um, the truth is actually at Jane Street, um, I think technically no coding experience was necessary uh, to be a trader, oh, not nice. a researcher. Researchers didn't need coding experience. Um, so yes, you'll, you'll do your screening, to, your two screening interviews, and after that, you should expect to have a uh, uh, you should have a long day of interviews. Uh, we call that a super day. Mm -hmm. um, this is common both in tech and in um, finance. Um, mm -hmm. You should expect to spend you know anywhere from like a half day to a full day um, doing back to back interviews. How many um, rounds of interviews is that? I believe I did five interviews for Jane Street at Fit Internship in one day. Uh, in one day, yes. Wow, okay. Uh, it might be five, it might be four. Um, <laughs> you know, like, like you need to be able, you need to be, you need to be able to do this for a long time and mm -hmm. be like constantly thinking. And the, yeah, and, and it's a very tiring interview, I for will sure. say, because you're constantly like, they're like, you're, you're constantly being criticized about like, you know, your, your, your thought process, um, in terms of like solving, you know, hard problem solving or mm -hmm. like, you know, coding or, um, you know, it's like, why did you do this? Or like, why, why do you think this is a good idea? Mm -hmm. Um, so it's a very tiring process, um, but it's sort of like I think necessary in order to test that, like to test that, like hey, do you have the ability to like work the hours that might be necessary for the show? Right. And did you interview for both the trading and research internships? How did how did that work? That one's interesting. So for Jane Street specifically, I think if you apply online, they will because I think they have three right divisions. They have trading, they have research, and they have software. Yeah. Right. Um, they will, you can submit your resume, I think, to any one of them, and they will just assign you one that they oh, think wow. is most appropriate to you. No matter how like, good your credentials are, they will uh -huh. sort of be like, oh, we think you're best fit for software, right. best fit for training, best fit for research. I see. Um, halfway through, um, mm -hmm. they also invited me to participate in the training interview. This was very weird. I don't know. If why, why was that? Do you know? I don't know. I think they were just like, he's good at math. Okay. I wasn't sure. Maybe they were impressed by some of the trading interview portions. Sure. Yeah. Um, now, I think maybe that's why my super day was so long because uh, there were some trading interviews mixed in there too. It was like a mix of both. Um, What's the difference between the types of interviews? Yeah. So uh, you should expect trading interviews to be a lot of like, you know, thinking about trading. You have this. So so, so the trading interviews oftentimes have this thing called a chip count. Um, although like you'll have like some amount of like 
money uh-huh. um, and you'll like be offered trades throughout the day. Right. Right. And they want to like test to see what you're thinking about these trades are. Like, you know, let's say I, let's say like, you know, someone comes up to offer you um, and one, one of the interviewers is like, oh, by the way, let's say, what, would you like to participate in like a $20 coin flip okay. or something or like a 20, whatever currency they would use coin flip. Uh-huh. Um, that's like oversimplifying it for sure. It's not right. that easy. Um, so this more context that's realistic, um, like realistic context behind what you would do on the job. Yes. Those questions. Okay. Yeah. That's what you said in like trading interviews at, okay. at Jane Street specifically. That makes um, sense. In terms of research, I would say it's a lot more, right? You'll have sort of standard software interviews where it's like, hey, you know, here's a, here's a prop, here's a hacker rank hard or something. Or yeah. Actually, they, they're a little more creative. They come up with interesting problems. Right. right. That, like actually, let's say relevant to trading data, right? They'll be like, here's the, you have some trader data floating in. Can you uh-huh. store it in this like data structure and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. I think if you're researching, you should expect to do some like theoretical math. Uh-huh. You should expect like, um, you should not, you don't have to be like, you know, you don't have to have a PhD to do these kind of problems. Mm-hmm. They care most about your problem solving, but expect these problems to be like long. Expect, yeah. to, expect, to, expect to try something, fail. Try something again, fail. Right. Um, get somewhere and then and get somewhere and then, be like, and then they'll be like, wait, what if this was the case? And I now see. you're working on a completely different problem. Gotcha. You have to think about it a different way. So there's probably a lot of follow-ups for a very, um, maybe like a simple problem at first, but then you have a lot of follow-ups uh, afterwards. Yes, yes, okay. for sure. That makes sense. Oh yeah, and also for people that have never heard of like any kind of quant interview process before, what is the kind of question that you would most commonly get at you know just like an average trading firm, average interview question? Like, what would you what would you expect? Sure, um, I think mean, a common question I get a lot. Imagine you have a hundred. If you have you have like a cereal brand mm-hmm. and it has like a hundred toys, and you can have like a hundred possible toys to pull out of that cereal box. Um, but the question is like, you know, how, what is it, how long in expectation will it take to get a hundred, to get all hundred toys? Right. How many cereal boxes do you expect to get? Right. So it's kind of just like playing a game, but you have to think about it in a mathematical or statistical way. Right. They, they, yeah. Right. Because at the end of the day, I think trading is a game, right? I think, well, I think for sure. It's, it's like, a, it's the like, most competitive game. Right. It's the most competitive game you should expect to see with the highest stakes. Of course. You should expect to see. Yeah. Um, and you know, they want to make sure you're good at the game. For right. Sure. And, you know, that means you got to be good at math. You got to be quick on your feet, sort of stuff like that. Right. And what kind of books did you find most helpful during the preparation process? Mm, okay. There's this one specific book and I'm going to try to find this for you. Yeah. Take I think it's, it's, it's like the big, it's good. People call it like the big green book. Of the finance. big green book. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to find it. I'm going to find the name of it. Two hours later. Finance. I think, I think finance is in the name. <laughs> A few moments later. It is called A Practical Guide to Quantitative Finance Interviews. Yeah, awesome. I will be sure to, you know, post it in the video somewhere. Yes, but and link, link down in the description. Yeah, in the description know. below. Um, and I also wanted to ask you how much finance experience you had prior to doing these interviews. Oh, zero. Uh, I think this is something that is said a lot uh-huh. and is not, and yet somehow it's not said enough. You know, I'm, I'm pointing, looking at you guys right now. <laughs> You you do not need to have any finance experience to, uh-huh. get, to, to get a quantitative position. Yep. I'm a, I'm a prime example. Um, I think a lot of people did not have any finance background. I had not traded a single stock nice. before the internship. I did not even on your own. No, not wow. even on my own. Because in finance, you can teach anyone. You, can teach, you could teach a lot of people what an option is, uh-huh. uh, what a future is. You can teach, you know. But, you know, not everyone can, um, you know, solve, solve this problem, solve the cereal box problem. Mm-hmm. Or, um, you know execute high level trades that have very solid backing to them in five seconds yeah right now everyone can do that and that's sort of the skills they're looking for yeah that makes sense and before you go do you have any last second tips for people that might be applying or interviewing right now my biggest tip um is to sort of just talk to people Mm -hmm. um lots of people have gone through this process before Mm -hmm. if you if you go into an interview knowing what to expect you'll do great Mm -hmm. um that being said you can also expect to not, you can also, I think, also expect to just ask them ask questions that you've never heard before. Yeah. And you got to like sort of exercise that like you know, problem solving skills. So if you guys are like, you know, sort of, un, you know, un, not confident about your problem solving skills, I would recommend just doing problems. I think the more you practice, right, the better. I think I ran a practice AIME, uh, American Invitational Math Exam. Um, I just did it and I felt more confident going in. As long as you go in and do your best uh, and, and, you know, be confident in yourself, mm-hmm. uh, I'm sure you'll do great. For sure.